Mr. Transformers 96 here with another video where I'm going to be talking about some newly shown Marvel Legends. And this time it is a Amazon exclusive 5 pack that I'm talking about from Avengers Infinity War. And this is kind of the dream 5 pack that I've uh, really wanted ever since this movie came out, um, but certainly never expected. So this is very exciting. Uh, so these are characters that have all been made previously, um, but there's been some major updates on one and then some additional accessories and uh, additional paint for the others. Um, so this is a of course, Thanos and the Children of Thanos 5-pack, uh, with Thanos in his Infinity War um, attire, uh, Ebony Maw, um, Corvus Glaive, Proxima Midnight, and then finally, the, the one that I think most people will buy this pack for is Cole Obsidian. Um, so this is very exciting. I'm going to go into uh, all of the figures here, mainly talking about the ones where there's actually new pieces on it, though. Um, but this is very exciting overall. Um, there was a slight hint to this. Uh, if there was a stream uh, that uh, that Hasbro did for their Hasbro Pulse. They did a Marvel Legends stream, and at the very end, they usually tease a little thing, and they teased the burnt arm of Thanos. So we we knew that there was some sort of new Thanos coming out that uh, was damaged after the snap, um, but I certainly didn't expect it to be a part of a huge five-back with all the kids of Thanos, um, so that was quite surprising. Uh, just starting off, though, here, let's just talk about uh, some of the uh, ones that are a little less interesting. First of all, cool artwork on the back. I've always really liked this artwork, and uh, it looks just killer on the back here. Um, so we have Corvus Glaive. Not a whole lot different. Uh, there, they all of the um the figures though are newly painted, so they have different paint apps in the original one. As far as I'm aware, though, there's nothing actually new as far as the figure himself. Um, but overall, he does look quite nice. I do have all of the original figures. Um, so. I'm not, like, dying for this pack for anybody else in it except for Call Obsidian, to be honest. Uh, but overall, Ebony Ma looks quite nice. They've really done a lot of more uh, washing in the face. Really brings out the, the side hair and everything like that. Looks like a nice figure, but again, just repainted. Then let's talk about it a little bit. Uh, Proxima Midnight. Proxima Midnight looks pretty decent. In this shot, though, her head looks, like, way too high. Um, but overall, she was a figure that was in need of a, of a new deco. Um, she was one of the first uh, Children of Thanos to be released, so I don't think it was super accurate. Um, so they've, uh, they now have her colored in a lot more accurate way. Um, the head sculpt might even be new, too. I feel like the head sculpt was really not painted accurate, so this was a solid updated and needed update. Um, and then the sword that she comes with that is a new accessory which is quite nice obviously uses it at the uh, the end in Wakanda so overall I think that this was a figure that really did need an update and they did a nice job with it um, as far as the other children though Corvus Glaive and Ebony Maw figures that were already pretty good when they came out really no updated needed but hey uh, there it, it makes sense to include them in this pack of course I'm talking about Thanos real fast Oops, there we go. So Thanos, uh, same sculpt. Now, this has been released for the third time now. They originally released the sculpt as the Build-A-Figure of the original Infinity War wave. Um, it was quite inaccurate when it comes to uh, its color scheme, though. So they released a three-pack afterwards, part of their 10-year anniversary series, with the same sculpt, but uh, with new paint that was much more accurate. Um, and that was very much well needed. And now we have the same sculpt again. Um, I'm done in the correct color scheme, basically the same as the 3-pack, but it also includes an additional arm and a differently painted serious head sculpt. So, obviously, as you can see, it's kind of like the burnt arm and everything. Um, we don't have a super close shot of it. From what I can tell, though, the, uh, the hand and the gauntlet area looks really nice. It looks like it's newly sculpted, completely damaged and bent in and dented and everything like that, which looks really cool. Uh, the arm itself, though, that looks like it's just paint. I would have much preferred it to be sculpting, and maybe once I get it in person, it will be sculpting, but from what I can just tell just by looking at it, it looks like it's just paint. Um, so we'll have to see to see uh, how much, how detailed that actually is. Um, the face sculpt as well, uh, I think the face sculpt is definitely just paint. Um, one thing that Toys 210 brought up that I didn't think 
of is the fact that like when when after he snaps like his ear is kind of like gone and he still fully has an ear here so it's just painted on which I think is a little disappointing um, I would have liked a new sculpt considering how much this pack is just repainted stuff I think that there would you know they could afford to do a little extra as far as sculpting goes on this new Thanos I think that would have been uh, pretty necessary uh, one thing I do like though that's new is that on the regular arm he does have a new hand it looks like he has a hand that's uh, about to snap which is cool I think that that's a nice uh, accessory there for sure um, but the face sculpts and the general body and everything is all the same it's just uh, an extra hand on the regular uh, left arm and then an extra or a new left arm in general um, overall this is cool because I do have I have every Thanos that they've released um, so this you know anything that's different is, is certainly welcome so I'm glad it isn't just a standard Thanos I'm glad that they changed it up a little bit however I think that they could have uh, updated the changes a little bit more extreme to be quite honest I'm um, talking about the 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 one that I think everybody wants to set for is Cole Obsidian. Um, when Cole Obsidian was released, he was the build a figure for the second wave of Infinity War figures. Um, but he was based on concept art. There is concept art that looks exactly like the build a figure that they released. However, it's very inaccurate. Um, the concept art and the the figure himself basically uh, shows a lot more skin. Um, he he has kind of like a, a toga piece on, um, but other than that, you know, bare legs, uh, bare chest. Um, so it's just it's very inaccurate from what was actually shown in the movie. As for the fact that he is in like a full costume, the bare arms are the only thing that is kind of bare. Uh, but he does have that big shoulder pad. So um, it was definitely very inaccurate. Uh, so to get this is very exciting. This is a completely new sculpt from the. Uh, the chest and the legs. Um, the shoulder pad is new as well. The arms uh, seem to be reused though, which makes sense. And then the head is reused, which again makes sense. Um, personally, I looked into ways of making a custom. I really wanted like an accurate Cole Obsidian uh, to go with the collection, and I I never ended up doing it. Um, he is a really big build a figure, uh, so there's like even on your normal standard kind of bulky build a figures from like the comic series, uh, not a lot of those fit his big bulky arms uh, and of course I'd be reusing the arms so I could never figure out a way to do it and make it look good so I never uh, ended up attempting it um, so to get a, uh, a correct movie accurate version now is really exciting his weapon that he comes with is again movie accurate and um, it is uh, something that the original one did not have either which is great now I would have liked in a uh, in an alternative uh, hand or arm uh, to represent when he got his cut off and he had the kind of robotic piece. I think that would have been cool, a good interchangeable piece. And you know, there's, again, there's so much reuse in this pack. I think that they could afford a little bit more in this pack overall. But nonetheless, I'm very excited for this figure. It looks great. It really does. Um, so overall with this uh, five pack here you can get it on Amazon as it is an Amazon exclusive um, and as you can see I did already purchase it uh, but uh, this is an Amazon exclusive it retails for a hundred and twenty dollars um, which if you break it down it basically means Proxima Night Cole Obsidian or excuse me, Proxima Midnight, um, Corvus Glaive, and Ebony Maw are $20 a piece, which is what they should retail for. And then it means Thanos and Cole Obsidian are $30 a piece, which is not a bad deal because, uh, you know, even just the standard figures being $20, they're really big. I always thought that they were a good bane for your buck just in, when they were originally released. Um, so I think that that is completely fine. And, uh, yeah, I think that overall this is definitely a pack that is, is worth the money um, because $30 for the two larger figures is quite impressive as they are uh, really bulky and you know they're build-a-figure sized which I know they have been releasing a lot of build-a-figures in the kind of deluxe line or build-a-figure scale figures um, for $30 as well uh, but I still think that this is a really good deal especially for Call Obsidian because he's a big build-a-figure um, so I think that overall price when you just break it down like that is pretty good if for some crazy reason you're interested in this pack and you don't have any of the originals then it's a great deal um, but most likely anybody who's interested in this pack probably has most if not all of the other figures um, so it, you know at that point you really need to uh, take into consideration I'm a big fan of the children of Thanos I really liked them in the movie um, so for me it's definitely worth it um, I think that the the new version of Thanos is going to be a nice difference on the shelf Cole Obsidian I'm stoked for and then as far as the other three um, not 
100% super necessary or anything like that. Uh, they're just repaints. For Proxima Midnight, it's a well-updated repaint, but for the other two, not a whole lot different going. Um, the only thing that I will say is that I kind of I display the Marvel villains from Marvel Legends uh, from the movie line. I display them in a Detolf cabinet, and then I display just all my other heroes and all the other movie Marvel Legends figures on um, on my shelves, and so. Because of that, I mean, I kind of have two places to display the duplicates, so that helps a little. Um, but overall, I do think that uh, this is a pack that I'm very much looking forward to, and one that I certainly didn't expect. So there you go, that's my thoughts on this new 5-pack. I think it's quite nice. It, it's a fantastic update for Cole Obsidian. It's a well-done uh, update for Proxima Midnight. It's a Thanos that's a little different. Um, and then the other two, still pretty similar, but um, it would have been cool if they could have added maybe some... Uh, uh, effect pieces for Ebony Maw. Uh, you know, I think that they could have found a way to give you something new with each figure, but nonetheless, I think that it's overall a really cool pack. I think it's got some great packaging too. I've never really seen like a five pack in this style of packaging. I think it's going to be huge and it's uh, going to be a cool uh, release and it does come out towards the end of the year. But there you go, that's my thoughts on this new Avengers Infinity War Marvel Legends five pack. Let me know what you guys think of it and thanks so much for watching.